Hey guys, Max Selfie Queen here, and welcome to something a little bit different. Something that I've actually been wanting to do for quite some time now. Um, I wanted to do it with pretty much every event that happened, but I didn't catch it either on the day it started, or, you know, just got a little behind on things. But I'm here on my Valkyrie, um, on a different server, we are going to be playing, um, on just a regular character that I have today, uh, because today is actually the start. Um, things are going to be a little bit different, especially for you guys, but today is actually the start of the Rootstock Festival, as well as the Pond Fairy um, Festival and stuff that goes on around this time of year. I believe it happens every single year, but as you can see over uh, to my Right here on this side of the screen, I have these quests here. Um, Rootstock Festival from Melsa. The Freeholds are having the annual Rootstock Festival to harvest the last of the root vegetables and prepare for the spring planting. In addition to farm fresh food and drink, we have a number of fabulous attractions. Won't you please come to the fair? So it tells us we need to come on down here to Freeholds, and uh, if you don't know where Freeholds is, it is in Chibeka, uh, right here. This little area over here kind of looks like a little fair area. Um, it's actually kind of like a farmer's market. It's Freeholds. They don't do anything with this place, pretty much, until you get to uh, the Rootstock Festival, which only happens, actually today is the start of it, September 14th. Uh, you guys will see this probably September 15th, so it will already have been one day since the festival started. But, I thought I would go ahead and do this today because I wanted to do something a little bit different. Kind of get the start of the festival and show you guys what you can do. Because there is cool things that happen every so often in Terra. And I think we should just go ahead and have an episode dedicated to that or a couple. And hopefully if we get through with this today, uh, we can go ahead and do maybe... Tomorrow, well for me tomorrow I can do the Pond Fairy one, or if we have enough time today we can do that quest as well. But um, here's Melsa. She says, Welcome to Rootstock. You know I didn't expect so many people. I hope the fields don't get too damaged. Yeah. So we're going to the fair, and you can see there are a lot of people out here. Because this is a big deal, it only happens once a year, and it only lasts for about a few weeks. It goes on until, this year it goes on until, I believe, October the 20th, I think, from today till October, so you have a little while to do this. Glad you can make it. Thank you for coming to Lynn's Farm. I'm not sure what you remember of this place, but your help, the Freeholds have recovered quite nicely, and we can finally hold Rootstock again. We're all glad you came. Everyone here is very grateful for your help. So this is the place where you used to have to do a bunch of quests and stuff. So I guess that's why they were saying thanks for your help before, but now we're ready to get the festival going, so... Mel Melsa says, around this time of the year we hold rootstock to harvest the last of the winter vegetables before we till the fields for the spring planting. There are lots of fun events, but cooking the fresh produce and eating it is the most fun, I think. Do you want to look around the farm first? We're particularly proud of our mud roots here at Lint's farm. Tell you what, if you could bring me back a mud root, I'll show you how to cook it. Well, okay. So we gotta start by helping her out with a little bit of farming. And we can go right over here. I see the mud roots already. And collect ourselves some mud roots. Oh, I see pepper plants. Okay, we don't need to be pepper plants. We need mud roots, I believe. Uh, stalks of cob seed. Okay. This is also where they hold Bamarama. Tops of tap roots. If you're familiar with Bamarama. It is actually held over there. I think it's still going on. Alright, so here are the mug roots. We need to dig up some of those. So this is basically kind of like... A daily event thing that you can do. You can do it every day. Uh, I think well, like once a day you can do everything. If you're familiar with the events in Terra that you'll know that we just completed like a few months back 
during summertime was the beach festival. That's kind of why I've got my beach gear on with my bathing suit and stuff. I got one for like all my characters. I really got a whole bunch of stuff from that. So I'm hoping this festival will kind of be like that and we can get some nice stuff. What's the matter? Oh nice, that's a great mudroot. It would make a nice mudroot salad. You can make it with a salad bowl. Melia can show you how. Okay, so I need to talk to Melia here so we can get ourselves a salad making. An honor to see Lots you. of people hate cooking with root vegetables, but I love it. It makes me feel good to know I've served folks a good meal. The secret of cooking is using the right utensils. When you aren't sure which ones to use, just read the recipe. Here, take this recipe and these ingredients, and make your own salad. It's easy as can be. Okay, so we go to the salad bowl over here, and I believe if we just right-click the recipe here, we can make ourselves a mudroot salad, which is this thing right here. Uh, and I gotta give it to Melsa. Okay, so let's give it to her. Attention. Are you sure this is your first mudroot salad? It looks like you've been making them all your life. Well, since you've mastered mudroot salad so quickly, I guess you're ready to move on to more challenging dishes. You'll find rare ingredients and recipes here and there all around the festival and the farms. Be sure to keep an eye out. Well, what else is there to do at the fair? Well, if cooking really isn't your thing, you could always go check out the Bamarema. Go talk to Lynn. He'll give you all the details. Alright, so I can talk to Milsa again. I can go talk to Lynn. We'll talk to Ma um, Melsa later. Let's just follow the path. Because I believe those start your daily events. So here's Bamarama over here. It is actually going on right now. You can see it. Greetings. Melsa still isn't too happy about my doing the Bamarama business, but she can't deny that it was a profitable it was profitable last year. Never mind me. Come on in, take a look around. You can watch their little matches between five and ten PM Pacific nightly. So be on time. And we'll have good ticket matches every 10 minutes, and one diamond ticket match every hour at 10 till. The bookies will be taking bets right after each match begins, and right before, and taking breaks between matches. Welcome, welcome. Got tired of playing chef, eh? Well, you come to the right place. The Bamarama is the best part of Rootstock. You can watch the thrilling matches, and if you're lucky, you can make some money on it. The rules are very simple. Just pick a fighter, and if it wins, it's match, you win. And since this is your first time, I can be persuaded to give you a hint. Care to give it a try? I might. There's still lots of the fair to see, though. Not just yet? Well, okay. Come back whenever you like. If you're looking for something a little more hands-on, check out Diggory's Farm and come back later. Okay, so they're just letting us know that you can come over here and you can watch Bamarama events if you'd like. You can bet on the monsters that are in the fights, and if your monster wins, you're going to get a whole bunch of cash money, which is nice. Lots of gold that you can have for your characters. It can be very profitable if you're good at gambling, but I'm not a gambling person myself, so... We're just going to continue on here and head on down to the farm here, Diggory. See what he's got going on. You, need something from me? you like spicy food? Try Freehold's Flame Salad. It's hot, spicy, and packed with flavor. It also revs up your metabolism. Yum! Sounds great. If you want to make the salad achieve rank 1 at Cake Bell, I'll reward you with a special salad dressing used for Freehold's Flame Salad. Welcome to my farm! Prepare to try your hand, or should I say foot, at Cake Bell? Then you came to the right place. In this game, you kick as much straw as you can within the time limit. Don't kick it out of bounds. Want to kick one around until you get the hang of it? Okay. So we need to play the Kick Bell minigame. This is one of the mini games that you can actually play here uh, in the Rootstock Festival. I think someone is actually playing the game right now. I'm not too sure. I don't see anyone. Someone is actually waiting in line as well. You get what you pay for in this life. Right, we have to hit the hay bell. And we don't want the scarecrows to hit it, I guess. Oh, I see. Okay, so we have to hit it. But they can't hit it, or they lose points. We lose points. You know, I never got under could understand this one. Like, I didn't really understand what I was supposed to do. I just kind of would kick it around a little bit, and I was just like, oh, okay. So, um, what's the goal here? Basically, you're just supposed to make sure that the scarecrows don't hit it, so you gotta keep it away from them. 
I was just kicking it around all over the place. I even went out of bounds one time and they were like, you went out of bounds, you didn't get a score. So, of course, the higher score you get, the better prize you get, of course. But this is just some fun little mini games you can do. Um, obviously, if you're familiar with the beach event, like I said, then you'll know what all of this is. I wanted to actually do something for the beach event, but I didn't get around to doing it. Uh, because I didn't actually know when the beach event started. I was kind of just logging in one day and I got the quest for it. And I didn't know exactly how I would do it, per se. Okay, so we got ourselves a thousand five scores, so we earned top rank. That's good. I didn't really know how the beach event worked, but... I definitely want to do it for the rest of the events that they have. Because there is, I believe, some more that are going to happen this year as well. What do you think? Harder than it looks, isn't it? Sure, you don't want to play again? I'll come back later. Ah, no worries. Say, hey, have you met my little sister, Rachel Richley? She has a little sky lo lotus garden. You should ask her about it. Okay, so there is the daily event for uh, roots, this area, the farm area. We need to go over here. Actually, because we need to go see the Lotus Farm, and I believe I see it right there. But I don't know how exactly we're going to get up there. I think I'll go with a flying mount, maybe, to get up there. To go see her. There she is. Hello. See anything you like? The sky pond is just up those floating stairs, if you're brave enough. You can harvest some sky lotus while you're up there, and the view is magnificent. Oh, hello. Did my brother Diggory send you? I'm afraid he was playing a little joke on you. Yes, I cultivate sky lotus, but my garden is up the steps here. Yeah, I know. It's on it only grows at very high altitude. But it's worth cultivating because it makes everything taste so amazing. Here. He came all this way, so at least that I can do is let you try some. Even if you don't feel like gathering some yourself. Well, thanks. Okay, so up there is the Sky Garden. Be careful out there. So I guess we could go look up there. Oh, jeez. But I am terrible at that, so you know what? Maybe I'll just do what everybody else is doing and fly up there. It'd be a lot better. Ah, here we are. So this is the Sky Lotuses at the garden that you can get if you would like to get some, which will probably be what her quest is. Hey, and I got an achievement. Oh, I should mention there are a lot of achievements in this area as well. If you are one of those achievement people and you like getting the achievements, right here on festivals you can see all of the achievements that you can get for Rootstock. So we've got complete all the achievements for Rootstock and you get a prize here. Um, open rootstock items three times each. So you'll have to open a certain rootstock items here. The kick bell gift boxes, three of those. Pickling rodeo gift boxes, three of those. And then Bamarama boxes, three of those. So I guess I will have to play Bamarama. Uh, drink all rootstock drinks, which would be the root beer, the lotus drink, the strawberry, the shri shrivenberry wine, free hoads root beer, and honey... Moon Gourd drink. Eat all the food items. So here's all the food items. Floretta soup, mung, Moon Gourd muffin, popped pop seed, mudroot salad, grilled pigling, lamb bulgogi. I've already ate the salad. The chiffron cookie, half moon croquette or something. Uh, barbecue, salad, and bleak wings. And then we have to this one over here is of the Pond Fairy area, which we'll get to, of course, a little bit later. Uh, this is what I just got. Visit the Sky Pond at Rootstock, and you get a little uh, achievement for that as well. So obviously, as you can see, yeah, this place is pretty big, and the view is pretty nice from up here. But I believe there's actually a little bit more that we can do. Um, I need to go actually see what she says. If we have a quest for her, or if we just go to the other side. Let's just see what she has to say. Talk to me. Are you a foodie? You must be if you came all the way here for Sky Lotus. You should go to the ranch down there. They have the freshest produce for use in the best recipes. Look for Caridus. Okay, so now we can go talk to Caridus. 
who is down here somewhere. Somewhere. And this will take us over to the other side of the festival. Let's see where you are. Oh wow, you're way over there. Okay, we need to fly over there because this is going to take a while. But I am going to do this whole episode uh, about rootstock. And then next ep episode we will do with the pond fairy area over there in the Twangi Mire. It's actually a really cute area as well. Festivals are one of my favorite things um, that come around in Terra. I know a lot of people don't really pay much attention to the stuff that goes on. They're kind of just like, let me level, let me get to a certain level, get to the end game, or let me just focus on leveling. That's the only thing I really care about. For me, I'm a big fan of leveling. I do like leveling up characters. Um, on this server, I actually have three characters I'm leveling up right now, which I'm probably going to be using over here in Rootstock in this area. Just to get a few extra items for Rootstock and see what all we can get. Um, it should be pretty cool. But this is this is a big event, okay? It's kind of like it's kind of like the start of fall type of event for us because you know we have uh, the end of November or the end of September is whenever fall begins or autumn, and then you have October when you have your Halloween and stuff if you celebrate Halloween, and then November of course if you celebrate Thanksgiving or anything like that you have this just this whole three months really of different things so they like to combine it all into one into a big festival and I think it's pretty cool so I'm definitely definitely wanting to gonna, gonna probably actually grind this every single day that it's available because you can get some pretty cool stuff I believe and the achievements are pretty nice as well you hello Caritas welcome is this your first time at Lee's Insta instead it's a communal ranch run by Free Brotherhood members. I've been a garrison soldier at this camp for a long time and I've never seen this lively before. Must be the Rootstock Festival. Sure is, buddy. Welcome, stranger. Came for the festival, right? This is a communal ranch, worked and shared by all the freeholders. We wrangle livestock and leave Lynn and the family to the produce end of things. Have you met Tagan? He's a shepherd, dozes off all the time, but he's got a good heart and he knows everything there is to know about the lamb meat. If you want the best lamb for a recipe, go see him. Okie dokie. Don't mind if I do. I'd like, like to meet all kinds of new people. New around here. Watching the sheep, watching the sheep, watching the sheep, watching the sheep. Sheepy, sheepy sleep. <laughs> Looking good, lamb. Me too, actually. I just closed my eyes for a second and they ran off. Help me herd the sheep and I'll give you some choice lamb. Well, alright, buddy. I can help you herd up your sheep since you're so sleepy. White cloud sheep. Come with me, sheep. Come with me. Come with me. We will go up here because your owner decided that uh, you'd fall asleep on the job and you got out of your pen. That's not good. Come on, buddy. You know what? I don't even know what we even need this for. Let's get the real ambience of the whole thing and let's just get rid of all this nonsense on the screen. I should have done that at the beginning, then the whole thing would have looked beautiful. Alright, sheep. Come on in here. Hey, you did it! Oh, well, I need it now. So I guess it doesn't matter. Any chance you're thinking about a career change? You'd make a good shepherd. No need to decide now. Here's the lamb meat I promised you. Well, what other ingredients can I get? Go see Filton at his dairy farm if you're interested in beef or milk. And there we go. We got the daily event for that finished. I believe you only do these red quests right here uh, once a day. Or the first time that you enter Rootstock. And then... After that, you will do all the little daily red quests that pop up um, on the screen that you're seeing after I leave some area. The question marks are the quest, and then once you do the quest one time, I think it should be just the little daily events that you can do after that. I used to be an adventurer like you, but it got to be too stressful. Herding cows is much more my speed. 
Welcome, friend. Don't think I've seen you around here before. Sous chef, or just visiting for the festival. Well, you miss slaughter season, but I have plenty of fresh milk. Of course, slaughter season never really ends with those hyenas around. Think you could chase them off for me? No problem, buddy. No problem at all, because I am uh, I'm level 65, so I will definitely one-shot all of these hyenas. <laughs> Which is why I definitely want to do it on some lower characters. I believe you have to be level 20 to do this area. So if you would like to level and do rootstock. Uh, level 20, I think you can get some experience for you these quests. For if you're one of those who loves questing. Wow, that was fast. No ordinary... Well, I mean, I'm level 65. <laughs> no ordinary milk seems like a poor reward. Let's see. You're looking for ingredients for recipes, right? Richie's your man. He can help you get the really special ingredients you need. Well, okay. I guess I'll go see him then. About some uh, some more stuff. Ingredients for my... I guess for my big salad. I don't know what I'm making. I got a whole lot of ingredients here. I need to open up my box too and see what I got. I guess we can do that at the end. Once we get all of our prizes and stuff and see what we got for rootstock. Hello. What happened to your face? I heard... Tell, I heard tell people see I've taken later. writings. Truthios? Writing Strutios. Oh, those little things there. Don't that beat all? And here, I just thought that they laid delicious eggs. Stilton sent you, eh? Have you ever tried Stiltio's eggs? Better than chicken eggs any day. Take as many as you like, but please take one to tip any for me. He asked me for one, but I've only but I've been too busy to make it over there. Thanks in advance. Okay, well we need to find an egg. So I guess I'll just take one of these, right? Sure, I'll grab one of these eggs. Oops. So these things are called Struthios. Well, okay. They look pretty cute though. I would love to ride around on one, but I don't have one. Um, who wanted the egg? Did you want- uh, yes, you wanted the egg. Hello. Enjoying your free time, Aren't Palings great? Fun to play with and so tasty. If you achieve rank 1, you can have some cured pigling. You can also cook traditional Bleak Fields barbecue with the cured piglings. <laughs> Trichy, you're late and I don't like it. It's a bad start. Wait, you're not Trichy. Where's Trichy? Uh, wait, what I meant was, welcome to the pig rodeo. Care to try your hand? Uh, I'm just here to deliver this egg. Oh, Trichy sent you to deliver the egg I asked for. How sweet. He's so sweet. Please tell him I said thank you. Wait, don't go yet. You have to try the pig rodeo. The prize is delicious pigling meat. Best in the freeholds. You sure you don't want to give it a go? Well, how do you play? Well, now that I got your interest, well, it's twice as fun as any old kick bail game, I'll tell you that. <laughs> if you can keep control of your piglings until the timer runs out, you win. Just throw some ghost fire at them and they'll follow you around. But watch out for the swine, hard bot. I'll ch it'll try to steal your piglings from you. Give it a try. You'll get the hang of it. Okay, well here's the egg. Don't you have somewhere to be? Uh, I really don't understand this game at all, so maybe we can understand it together. But she said we're supposed to just put some little fire um, on the piglings, and they'll follow us around. So I guess I want to just keep as many piglings around me as possible, so that the scarecrow guy doesn't hit them. I guess it's basically just running around in circles, right? Ah, no. Okay, come on, little piglings. Come with me. I'll take another pigling. I'll take another pigling. Oh gosh, he's coming. Run, little piglings, run. I see. So if he hits the piglings, I'm going to lose my score. Come on, piglings. This way, piglings. This way, piglings. Run with me, piglings. Run with me. Run with me, piglings! Let's get a thousand. I think we can do it. Come on, piglings. Come on, we only got three seconds. Come on, piglings. Hey, we got the top rank! Alright, that's cool. I didn't really understand that, but it kind of helps if you read the quest every now and then. Not bad, not bad. And here's your prize. Pigling meat, best in the freeholds. How do you cook it? Melissa at Lynn's farm is well known for her pigling recipes. I know how to smoke here, pigling meat, but Melsa is the best when it comes to cooking. 
Tell her I said so, and maybe she'll share her recipe with you. Well, thanks. So now we need to go back and talk to Melsa with our newly acquired pigling meat. So I think I will fly over there to her real quick. Real quick like. I hope you guys really enjoy the, the Rootstock Festival. I really enjoy it. It's just something completely different that honestly I've never really thought much about until now because once you get to the end game it's kind of I mean, I don't want to say boring, but it's kind of a lot of dungeon crawling, and I'm not the biggest fan of dungeon crawling. I like going through the dungeons whenever you're first leveling up and stuff, but when you get to 65, you can't really level anymore, so it's kind of just like, uh, I don't really want to do the dungeons because you have to get the gear and all this stuff. I'm more of one of those free players, you know, I just like to level, hang out, and play some with the events. Not too big on getting the PvP aspect of things and all that. So I really enjoy stuff like this. Melsa, I brought you some pigling meat. What's the matter? Welcome back. Came back to Rootstock for some more fun, eh? Any chance you could come back later? I'm kind of swamped. We ran out of food last night, so I need to make a lot more today. Well, anything I could do to help? Oh my, are you sure? Yes, absolutely. I already know you're a great cook, so you would be a big help. Attention. Oh, this What's is the, the quest. Okay, I'm wanting to get this. Yeah. Find anything fun to do? Oh, I see you got some of Tiffany's cured pickling meat. Attention. Whoops. It's not bad like this, but it's such a waste not to cook it properly. Lucky you, I just happened to have a recipe. Best in the freeholds. Here, you'll need some salt. Now head over to the fire pit. Okay, we need to go to the fire pit. What's the matter? Attention. I'll see what else she's saying. Um. Uh, no. What's the matter? Yeah, okay. That is, I think, the daily quest. So I think I'll leave that for now. We need to go over to the fire pit here. The pigling meat. Um, make a dish using the grilled piggly recipe. So we do this. At the fire pit, and we, uh, made ourselves some grilled pigling meat. Alright. Sounds good. What's the matter? Wow, that smells really good. Good color, too. It comes away from the bone just right. Downright mouth-watering. Mind if I taste it? Mmm, that's perfect. Great job. Have you tried it yet? I could go for a bite. You've got yourself some hidden talents, don't you? So many would be chefs. Cook pigling to charcoal. Or don't cook it enough. And end up doing the outhouse dash. Uh, anyway, here. This is the recipe for Kyotro Barbecue. I think you can handle it. If you make it, save me some. Alright. So let's see. I think that about does it. Let's see what else we got here. Talk to Melsa. For now, I don't need anything too complex, but I don't have time to do it myself. Ah, uh, okay. So we need to make popped cob seed. And Melsa has the recipe. Uh... Always keep the recipe handy. What's the matter? He has the recipe here somewhere. You need a cob seed and butter. So do we have butter with us? I don't know if we do. Hmm. Let's go ahead and open up our Peak Bell gift box. We received some wine, which is for the achievement, so that's good. And then We'll open our Pigling Rodeo gift box. And we got some root beer, which is another thing that you can drink for achievements. Um, so we need to... Let's see, how am I supposed to get the butters? That's what I want to know. Hope I helped. Oh, right there. Butter. And we need a cob seed. So let's go out to the farm here and grab some cob seed for her. I see it right there. I hope you guys are getting the gist of this. This is pretty much what you, you'll be doing on the daily. Okay, so we got one cob seed and one butter. So I guess we need to go ahead and buy the recipe so we can make it. What's the matter? Um, popped cob seed. 
But I think we need to make this over here, maybe? No, not here. Over here? No. Over here? Ah, oh, yeah, there's a pan. Hey, we got it! See? I'm, I'm thinking with my brain today. Oh my, that's some savory cob seed. Nice and salty, too. So we'll sell a lot of root beer with this. Hey, since you helped me, let me give you this. You can use it anytime. Well, thank you. Got some fruitio breast, whatever that is. <laughs> and I got a recipe for cob salad. Need some butter. Alrighty, so I think that pretty much about does it. All these other quests here are... Yeah, there's a different quest that you can do. I guess daily quests that you can go through and do. Uh, you can see on my map that I have all the red quests there that you can collect and do. Um, you know what? We'll go ahead and go through and see if we can get through these real quick. For the Federation. We'll just do everything today with rootstock. Freeholds is famous for its specialty produce. I would like to make a farmer's almanac to sell, but I'm just too busy. Would you mind helping me with it? I'll credit you as a contributor. Think about it. The idea could catch on. Make me a co-author and I'm in. It's a deal. Here's what you I've got so far. Just try and fill in the missing parts. The general structure is already complete, so all you really need to do is collect some fruits and vegetables and stretch them in the proper pages. Thank you so much. Okay, so we need to collect Floretta and collect Floretta and fill the first page. So basically we need to go out here and we need to find all of the ingredients for the farmer's almanac. I see the Floetta now. Over here, the Florida. Floretta. Yeah. And we'll put that there in the farmer's almanac. And now we need to collect taproot. Where would the taproot be? That is taproot right here. Okie dokie. Hey, if we're going to be co-authors uh, co -authors of the book, might as well go ahead and help out. Now we need to fill up with mudroot. Well, we know where the mudroot is because we definitely had to get that for um, Melsa. So I can collect some mudroot as well. And now we need moon gourd. Well, I'm guessing it has to be these pump -like, pumpkin looking things over here. Yeah, that looks like a moon gourd to me. Okay, up next we need a flame pepper. Well, that was the first thing that I saw when I come out here was flame peppers. So I can pick up some of those. You know what's really weird? Is that all this time, I never figured out how to do all this stuff. And really all I had to do was read. <laughs> Alright, now we need to do some cob seed. Which is right here. Looks like Bamarama is getting ready to start again. Oh, I already had some cob seed. Now we need a chevron berry. Chevron berry. Where would those be? Those could be up here. Yep, I see them. Chevron berries are up here on the hill. There's so many vegetables around, so... They're everywhere. They kind of look like grapes. Okay, and now we need a Sky Lotus. So that means we need to go way up there on top to get ourselves a Sky Lotus. Man, if you did not read these quests, then you're probably out of luck. I hate to tell you because you will not know where anything is. Unless you've played before. Or if you're watching me, then you'll actually know exactly what to do. Which is why I'm here. I'm here to help. And I'm here to influence more people to go and play Terra because it is a good game. I enjoy it. If you're a fan of online MMOs, then it's definitely something for you to try out. I think it would be pretty cool. Okay, so now all we have to do is bring the Farmer's Almanac back to Milia. That should be cool. We should get some items from her as well. This is why I definitely would recommend if you're around level 29 or 20, 
think 20 is the pond fairy area, but if you're around level 29 or so, you can come out here and get you some good EXP every single day if you'd like. Okay, I got it. Honor to see you. Got the farmer's almanac. How's it going with the almanac? Let's see what you got so far. Hey, you finished it. That's great. Thank you so much. I'll make sure you get listed as a co-author. In the meantime, here, let me give you this as a token of my appreciation. You should find it very useful. Alright, so we got ourselves a necklace from the Rootstock Festival. Of course, I don't need it because <laughs> I need, uh, I've got what I need right now. But I think the lower levels could make some use out of it. Okay, so let's clear off this greed quest. And head on out to the next area here. Oh, Bama Rama's going on. Looks like we got a Ubo against Karoff. Fighting it out. Although I only see one of them. Oh, there's the other one. Very interesting. I I'm not I'm not a fan, but uh if you're a fan of that, you know, go right ahead. So I believe, I think, if you do the rest of these quests, they're pretty much just going to be uh, having you do the mini games. so I don't think it'll be, it's anything new. These are going to be the dailies. Uh, yeah, this is just the daily stuff that you can do, and you can get yourself some items that you can use around the Rootstock Festival. So I think we're going to go ahead and actually end it off here. Um... This is it, guys. This is the Rootstock Festival. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some information from this that makes you want to go and check out the Rootstock Festival. It runs from now until... You know what? I could actually look real quick because I don't want to give you guys the wrong date. Um, right now, it runs until October 10th. So from today, September 14th. Um, when you guys see it, it'll be September 15th. So, go check this out, and then you can go and check out Rootstock. But that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this look into the Rootstock Festival and um, what it has to offer. And uh, maybe you can go ahead and check it out sometime. So, I will see you next time in whatever else we're doing. But I think we'll be going to the Pond Fairy Festival next, so look for that as well. You guys later.